And as expected, Insup is going undead. Um, on Concealed Hill, a couple things you need to look out for on this map. One of the main ones is who ends up getting the big fat ogre right in the middle. Obviously, you can see the map is pretty symmetrical, so usually the creeps end up getting split but relatively 50-50. But the one creep that usually ends up going one player's way or the other is that big fat ogre and the big fat item that comes with that ogre. Um, and you can glitch it up with any race and kind of tie behind that tavern. So one of the things we want to look out for about 10 to 12 minutes into this game is who is going to go for that ogre first and who ends up getting it. Yeah, I had to edit in Sub's name in the scoreboard because he was like all buggy with the undead logo and stuff. <laughs> he was like in the middle of his name because he has too long a name for the scoreboard. And Sub needs to shorten his name. Yeah, I got that shortened by Sub. It's all good. There we go. Thought I like the idea of guest casters. Thanks for having a co-caster. Well, it wasn't my idea, so I won't, I'm not going to take credit for it. It was uh, Lado who suggested he cast, so make sure to give him a follow on Twitch. He's at twitch.tv slash Lounge. And even though he's kind of retired from streaming, occasionally he'll fire it up. Uh, I'm not retired. It's just the... Uh, <laughs> it's a joke, Lado. Oh, okay. Life is just busy. Life yeah, is yeah. busy. How often have you streamed recently? So recent, I'm actually on winter break. So I work in a school. So right now I'm on winter break. So I have this week off. I've been streaming a good bit this week. Um, but when when school is in session, I stream like two or three times a week, I try. No more okay. problems at work with uh, anyone being difficult? I don't remember that story. No, there's st she's, she's still, I don't, I don't want to curse on your stream. <laughs> She's still. She is so bizarre. <laughs> you you remember that story, right? Yeah. She she's actually That's giving me the. So she gives me the silent treatment now, like like a fourth grader. Do you remember when you were like in grade school and like you didn't like someone and you didn't talk to them? Yeah, I still do this every day nowadays. <laughs> well, well, she does that to me at like at work, and I'll straight up ask to her face. I'm like, let's. Just, I'll just call her Sarah <laughs> for namesake. I'll say, hey Sarah, how's it going today? And she literally just like walks past me. She she is so bizarre. I got, oh my god, I, I hate working with her so much. <laughs> she's the weird. She, it's it's so. She's like this. Uh, uh, okay, anyway. Back try to work try organizing a tournament with Sonic. You're gonna see what real hate is. <laughs> Do that. Oh my god, I should just show the log later. Like people would laugh their asses off. <laughs> Insub's actually playing ghouls, by the way. Cheeks are nice and pressure is good. I'm kind of surprised Insup is playing goals. I wonder if that's uh, due to the map, or I wonder his reason for doing that. Shuffling his Akko around, he's already making another Akko, so he kind of expects to lose one Akko. Either that or he's going for a fast expand. But um, we're seeing that increased Akko regeneration coming into play. Does that, man, those Akkoids regen oh, HP yeah, on the it's light so, so broken. Uh, but in Insup is doing a great job. He did make one just in case he does lose one and he does have the tech coming the ghouls are just on auto attack killing these skeletons we see one coil come out one akko is getting super low he's gonna run it away but it ends up getting trapped by those skeletons but it's gonna be replaced by the uh by the extra acolyte that was made so that's nice heads up play from insup to um to make that extra acolyte hey beer junkie thank you very much uh, for the resub i need to to raise something real quick where's my logo oh i need to lower the w3 booster i think yeah oh no then it hides the death knight thing oh god first roll problems with my overlay because my main overlay on my stream is like cloud hosted so i can't disable it I'll disable parts of it, otherwise I disable oh. everything. Okay, we'll have the Death Knight thing, yeah. I'll just put it back up. Uh, Insup was going for a surround there. He had Aura, and uh, Sheik did not have Aura. So it's kind of interesting that I'm, I'm almost surprised that Insup didn't get that surround, because he is get, get pretty good at getting those surrounds. Yeah. Uh, in, in Sheik's base, we're seeing like basically a straight guard play. So we see four ghouls that are essentially all for wood and, uh, and tech. And he's gonna go just, Sheik is just gonna go mass guards. I kind of like that decision on this 
uh, on this map just because those fountains and the red drakes. So there's two fountains on this map with two massive red drakes, with, which once you have four gargoyles out, you can kill that red drake in about two seconds. You get two massive items, and your DK essentially shoots to a free level three. It's actually one of the reasons I veto this map when I play against undead players, is because I hate playing... I actually don't mind playing against gargoyles, but gargoyles on this map are broken because there's two massive red drakes that they can take. And in some his, his act, one acolyte is stuck. Oh, and his act, he's going to lose an acolyte during tech. His tech is almost finished, but he actually missed. Oh, he didn't like, notice, I think. He didn't notice that there were skeletons attacking him. No, he didn't notice. What happened is he, he clicked the acolyte, and he right-clicked to the left side of his mine, but he accidentally clicked one of the acolytes that was mining because it was, like, following the one acolyte that was mining. Um, so it was kind of stuck in position. Because the default for an acolyte, if, if it's just in open ground, if it gets attacked, it'll run away from whatever it's getting attacked by. But it was just standing there taking hits. And we do see the first gargoyles coming out on the field for Shake, uh, Shiki Shaky. Is it Shake or Sheik? Uh, I think it's Sheik. But uh, <laughs> the reason I said Shake was because you, you remember, uh, uh, what's his name? The. Chaco, hi to Chaco. Yeah, yeah. When he casted Shiki Shaky's games, he always said Shiki Shaky. Oh, and that's a nice coil. That's a pretty quick level three from Insup. Oh, so see. nice creeping from Insup. Yeah. Um, taking that coil. So Sheik's DK is still sitting on level one, but that's quickly going to change as soon as these gargoyles take this red Drake on the left hand side, which he is going for right now. He's going for Weber, by the way, Insup, fully knowing what's going on. Saw the gargoyles. Pulls the drake. Look, and here come the gargoyles. Look at that damage. My gosh. That, that, that feels so broken to me. Being able to get that kill. And the item Sobe Mask drops in his favor. And that's going to give his DK level 2, Lich level 1, or 0. 0.5. Sorry. Web's almost done. Oh, Web's done. If he catches the gargoyles. Oh. Insult aggression is really paying off here. Wait, two of the gargoyles were left behind. Ooh. Oh, he's healing them for a bit. Now the question is, is Insup going to go finish this fountain, go for the middle red, or try and jack Shiki Shiki at the other red, which he's almost certainly going to go for with his gargoyles, and he is. He's, so Sheik is doing um, what I mentioned earlier with these gargoyles, going from one fountain to the next, taking that red drake, taking that massive item, because it's way too easy to do with uh, with those four gargoyles. Century Wars is a sick item to have here. Yeah. And he's so even going to spot the shade, so he might be able to use Revelation or Dust to kill those. And we see the second item coming out, Belt of Giant Strength. Uh, not a game-changing item, but not a bad item. That Sobe Mask, on the other hand, that is uh, definitely one of the items he was looking for. Yeah. Okay, one more creep at least. Might just finish the camp, I guess. What is that it? Insup on the left hand side picks up a greater mana potion, which yeah. again is definitely an item he was looking for. Very nice pickup for sure here. Where do we Insup go from there? Actually, actually with the gargoyles, like now I mean so from he had already made enough to creep the drakes, but he keeps going for more anyway. Yeah, so from there you usually just you try to get level three lich. Um so you can start getting fiend kills because the idea in these fights of you know, fiends against gargoyles is he's going to be trying to kite with his fiends and gargoyles are just going to try and fight straight up and you can't really fight straight up until you have that level three lich. So my guess is that uh, Sheik is going to try and get that level three lich, which is that's exactly what he's doing here. Um, and then once Sheik has that level three lich, he can start to look for fights against those fiends. And as I mentioned at the start of this game, uh, who's going to get end up getting this ogre? It looks like Insup is getting this ogre. So Insup playing really well, taking map control. He loses oh two gosh. goals there, but that doesn't matter too, too much. Oh, and he, it pays off. And he gets the mana bong, which... Uh, the mana man. bong. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be smoking that mana bong all day long. Uh, and he's going to be giving him all kinds of mana. Sheik doing a, a it's nice gonna give him all kind of powers. <laughs> Lots of powers. Oh, and this is gonna he's gonna do a ton of damage with these gargoyles. Question is, is is Insup gonna run back or is he gonna TP? He, and it looks like he is just gonna run back. He needs to run all those workers north. We well, tried to deny his own gold, but it didn't work. Not too bad. Uh, I believe he lost 
He only lost two goals, which actually could have been a lot worse. It's going to be more. <laughs> One more goal. He lost three goals in total so far. Which very, can... uh, by the way, very high level games already today. Yeah, these uh, these are great. These are great. I'm surprised Insup isn't one making a tower or two leaving a couple now fiends back in his face to web these guys. I think that's kind of a mistake from Insup. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah. He kn he knows those gargoyles are gonna sit there and harass him. I think he, he just figured to... like Sheik was gonna leave, but Sheik's got yeah. 200 IQ. Here here he goes. Okay, now he has two fiends back, um, and he's gonna. Oh, and look, he's getting burrow upgrade after this next fiend. Yeah, too, but she so... does. Sheik has a sentry ward. I think. Maybe Sheik was going to leave, but then he saw all the fiends walking away. By the way, that statue's trapped. That is annoying as hell. I'm like, yeah, very high level games. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a statue is... trapping all of everything. A to be honest, that that happens in high level games. Real like, high it, level it indeed. Sucks. It sucks. Whoa. Web's going to be used now. And it's... that Death Knight's taking a nap. Nice micro from Insup, uh, pulling these fiends back. We need to see some coil coming out to save. Oh, nice coil, grabbing that fiend as he's running away. And we see this level two Nova, and he's out of level two Novas actually. So uh, there's not much keeping left keeping Insup in this fight. Uh, and so Insup is just gonna try and micro his way around this, pick off fiends as he can, keep kiting, backing up. He's kind of playing this you know, uh, this is very akin to um, the night, you know, the old night elf, where undeads had to play against the night elves that ex exploded in massed air. You play it very similar against these gargoyles. So, uh, because of that meta, I'm sure Insup has tons of practice against uh, this air, and we saw it come out there. He did, he did a great job kiting these. And if we look at Sheik's base, we see a frostworm halfway done. So Sheik is committing to this air. Um, I don't think that's a good decision. I think Insup is actually going to win the game because of that. Because this Frostworm is going to get... Uh, this Frostworm takes extra damage from piercing. Yeah, but don't you think the Gargoyles are going to bait all the webs that are available? Oh, there's a it's, 6 Phoenix. Actually. The thing is, web... I think Insup is a high enough level that he is going to manually cast the web on the, the Frostworm. Well, he doesn't so, know there is one coming, so... But they can, now he has enough fiends anyway for all the air units, I think. For, oh, actually, no, he doesn't. I could see all the gargoyles flying first, get webbed, and then the force worm flies in, like, kind of last. And by the way, thank you, Excel, for the resub. Welcome back, dude. Okay, Leaf's getting chased. Hey, oh my god, he got surrounded. Oh, and he has no TP! He has no TP! No TP and surround taking out this Lich is going to take the orb out of the fight. And that's going to give Insup... Insup is on his way to victory. Thank god NA is going to get a win. Let's go, Insup. <laughs> the bias is so real. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to pretend. I want NA to... NA's got one team in this. We gotta root for him. Yeah. A player's forces are now Sheik, attack. like his whole plan of fighting with the Gargars at the front and the Frostworm flying I, in. I love, this. I love this decision from Insup. Insup is gonna put advantage. Uh, go for the altar. Try and take this Lich out of the fight for good. Oh, Sheik's gonna instant rebuy. He catches a he fiend is. as well. Oh, that, that's a nice little fiend pick. Oh, and the burrow's gonna go. Nice burrow. Oh, but the, he, he uses uh. Where's the, the frost room going? See the hell? What the hell? He ditched the fight. He was flying towards the ended base. Where is the frost room? Hey, it's oh like my on the God, left the side. It was so far. No, it, it was almost at the fountain. Yeah, I saw that. The frost room like, pissed out. I thought it got hexed or something. Oh, I was well, like, what the hell? That was underwhelming, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 